third point, what does this mean in terms of intersubjectivity? Well, there isn't a lot of agency and there isn't a lot of subjectivity in just reading the textbook or just listening to the teacher or just answering the teacher's question. Um, so what we have here is a greater emphasis on learner engagement, more agency in the learning. Um, and what we have um, is a shift from um, authentic pedagogy, um, which was really, to the extent that it moved away from didactic pedagogy. So didactic pedagogy is you're told something and you remember. Authentic pedagogy means is you solve the problem for yourself uh, and you internalize the answer, but it's still one person individually thinking at a time and it's still getting the answer right. So um, we move away in these kinds of environment from individual internalization of messages, which is the constructivist kind of paradigm, um, to a knowledge ecology of a much more sociability and much more reciprocity, much more inter interconnection between the students. And one of the interesting aspects of this is the differences become more visible. The minute there is more voice, the minute there is more agency, the differences in uh, not just the demographics of um, you know, gender and ethnicity and that kind of stuff, but differences in interest, differences in aspiration, differences in identity, uh, those things become visible and they become productive, right? They become something where they enrich the discussion or the perspectives of another student in a peer review of an assignment. Uh, if you've got two or three of these reviews, the different perspectives add up to an interesting set of thoughts, things that you mightn't have thought of before, and those differences get recruited. Whereas constructivism really is about uh, reconstructing on your own terms an anticipated outcome, right? Um, it's a different kind of logic. So in other words, there's a kind of a, uh, a shift going on here in terms of the dynamics of subjectivity. I've started to sort of touch on this already, but, 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 but what becomes visible in these environments and becomes valued is learner differences, not just broad demographics, as I said, gender, ethnicity, all of those kinds of things, um, but also differences in uh, knowledge, life experience, uh, affinity groups, uh, networks, perspectives, uh, all of those things become a valuable part of the environment, whereas in both the uh, didactic pedagogy and also the progressivist pedagogy. In a sense, there are a lot of pressures to cultural uniformity, a lot of assumptions of similarity. Uh, th th those things um, shift. But also um, uh, what we might have in these environments is alternative learning pathways. These become more possible partly for facilitated by te technology, personalized learning, adaptive learning, those kinds of things, um, but also um, starting exactly where the students at. So for example, classrooms where students with disabilities are mainstreamed, where there's an aid that actually help that student, but they're in a context which is not not excluded them, um, that, that you, know, you can pursue individual interests in projects, uh, you can, um, work at your own pace, which may be fast at one moment, but you're struggling at another moment and you need to slow down. Um, but the really important thing, well, the danger of progressivism um, is that we cater for differences and we leave differences the way they are and differences also embody inequalities. So we leave inequality the way it is. But here, what you can be doing is different things with the aim of achieving equality. Yes, you're going a bit slower, but we want to bring you to the same point. Um, your topic that you've chosen is different from somebody else's, but the two things are equivalent. They're comparable to each other. So what we've got to become is very mindful of not reproducing inequality. Um, and the key, the key notion here is that you don't have to be the same to be equal. You can be equivalent to each other and also quite different.